recording on my first little leg of my road trip because uh, I was focusing on, you know, driving on the wrong side of the road. So uh, now that I think I got the hand of it, it really um, didn't take me too long to figure it out. Um, the hardest thing about it is that, like, everything in the car is on the opposite side of where I normally have it. So, like, my windshield wipers are usually where my turn signal are, so I keep turning on my windshield wipers. Um, and then my stick is obviously on, on the other side. Um, but really, because you're on the opposite side of the car as well, um, everything's kind of the same. It's just kind of flipped. So, as long as you're staying with your, your side to the median, um, just like you would in the United States, then you're all right. It's not that hard. This is pretty. So the trip I'm taking now is taking about two hours from um, Newcastle to Port Macquarie. Um, I didn't really do much in Newcastle. I kind of just took a day to chill out and um, not do anything. So get a closer view of all this, all this goodness. pretty dry. I highly recommend it. Um, I was just thinking like, would I ever do this again? Because it's kind of scary to drive on the wrong side of the road. Um, but I definitely would. This was well worth it. So I highly recommend people to be taking a road trip, even if you're afraid of driving on a side of the road that you're not um, used to. It's worth it. It's very beautiful. Uh, I feel like I loved Sydney, actually, when I was leaving. I felt really sad to be leaving Sydney. Um, but it was a lot of city, you know? And so now I get to go out and be like, where the wilderness is, and I really like that. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so when I, I'm about to uh, take a little pit stop at this rainforest area where it kind of has like a suspended walkway. So you can walk all through like the roofs of the rainforest on the suspended walkway. Uh, and I'll definitely take some video of that, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update of what's going on. Um, my final destination driving wise is Brisbane, um, where I'm gonna go and see Vanessa's wedding and then head back to the United States. So I'm already kind of bumming thinking about it, but. I guess I have to go back at some point. Um, I'm hoping it's kind of cloudy. I'm hoping that it clears up by the time I get to Port Macquarie so that I can spend some time on the beach. And I'm also kind of hoping that it's not this stormy up there so that I'm not walking around in the rainforest drenched. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully everything's okay in that respect. Um, the other kind of crazy thing to think about, I had to talk to the um, rental car guy about the possibility of hitting animals and I was really worried about kangaroos and I keep seeing signs of like koalas, like don't hit the koalas, <laughs> don't hit kangaroos. I mean they're kind of like deer here. Um, but he was saying that actually wild pigs are like the worst thing to hit here. So like that was, that came totally out of left field for me. So, um, another thing to look out for while I'm on this trip, some wild pigs. Uh, the cows here are also kind of a weird color too. I've noticed they're not like cows in the United States. I'm going through a lot of different, um, kind of farmland area out here. Uh, hopefully I want to stop at a vineyard too. I want to get some like wine bottle corks so that I can actually close my wine bottles. But I figure like that's like a really um, good kind of souvenir type thing to get. You, you know, souvenirs can be so ridiculous. Um, like this ridiculously unnecessary. Um, but I feel like a wine bottle topper is something that is like a really good souvenir from somewhere. So I've saved that for my trip to Sydney. I'm gonna get myself a wine bottle topper. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I will check in with you guys later, show you the rainforest, maybe show you some more of the clips of 